is looking at probably uh, what most people regard as a networking area of the Netgear router. I'm starting off in the router status section which indicates that we have connection indicates we have a MAC address here which we're transmitting from an IP address uh, a subnet mask etc. We also have what's called the domain name server the DNS server details and those are obtained automatically in this particular situation and we're using PPP over A which is ATM. So you've got a MAC address, you've got an IP address, etc. Previous videos that I have uh, created have indicated quite a reasonable amount of information, and one of the interesting challenges has been to me is actually looking at the information, how it could be best produced. You may well be aware that much of the internet and uh, routers you, if you've ever had a problem with a router you come home or you're, you're dealing with somebody within an environment that you're in and you they've told you there's a problem with a router and they've, they've dropped internet connection and the moment you hear though that phrase it's dropped internet you've dropped internet connection your immediate thought process goes along the lines of oh dear and you may be able to put it on within seconds but you might not be entirely sure as to what the problem was so the area that I would encourage you to look at is the logs section now you'll see the content filtering section here and you'll see the log section there and what I'm about to do is highlight to you as you can see the UDBP packets there UDP packets sorry and this is the decomposition of a UDP packet and it shows the amount of, uh, a good deal of information here you have the address the information is coming from it'll show you information about what the UDP word means what it stands for what actually is involved in it to get a really good grounding in this particular area of material ideally you look at some training material possibly under networking or alternatively under the expression CCNA which covers a whole group of information to do with networking but I'm specifically looking at what you might find on a router and this particular router you'll find the Netgear 834G which these films are made out of or from <coughs> looks at one particular well-known domestic router the router is generally found in homes and is supplied by many companies and <coughs> is a popular router for many ISP providers you'll notice here we have the date and the time of each piece of information that's being produced. You'll notice that we have a whole bunch of information here. We can see um, that we have the UDP packet. We also have an IP domain. If you're wondering what this information is here, this information here would indicate whether it's going to an IP address of a class A, B or C address. So if you're looking under networking in class A, B or C you will see explanations on those particular sets of numbers. You'll also see that the LCP is here and you'll see that on a previous video I've actually shown what the word LCP means you also see the loss of synchronization again you can google these words to actually get the specific information relating to these phrases you'll also see here that the chat authentication success this means this is actually logged in and the administrator was successful in logging in okay and you can see once again the times and even to the second when this all occurs 
you can see the precise times in the sense that this has all occurred at the same minute 10, 26, 26, 37 and 33 so this has all happened within a matter of seconds that the actual router has connected out uh, talked to the server uh, and provided the information that is required you can also see that at, uh, later on there's been a loss of synchronization again uh, and a drop in transmission from the viewpoint of how often this has happened we can also see other information here we can see when it sends out requests so we're seeing a whole group of bits of information that may be relevant to where we are within the setup of our router and it, as we look at this information we can see exactly what is going on when we were successful in our connection when we actually got through to the address there 192.168.0.5 and we can see when we haven't been successful so a whole lot of information there and what I will try to add to this in due course is the annotations to um, just confirm bits of information that I've put up there you'll also notice that you can actually include within the log connections to your web based interface on the router the router operation, start time and get in, getting time etc and a whole load of other information so hopefully this has been of some use um, it's there for you within your login section once you've logged in and this is the sort of information if need be you can copy and paste to your ISP provider now if your ISP goes down I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes exactly how you might be able to find a way of testing the system so just bear with me for a second Okay, another option can be, as I said a few minutes back, to um, just really another way of just testing to see whether the login issue um, is a problem is if you go to your login section here um, and just if you go into this login section here, you've got your login and password section. and um, what you can do in actual fact is to test it I'm highlighting here you can test your ADSL line using the BT tester account and you've got a BT test startup domain by using that in the user section and as it says here you can ignore any password present in it if that is necessary to delete or modify these settings you can actually use this as another way of getting into and testing your uh, whole system so again this is another way of just getting through that basic section there you can also use the control button to actually increase or make this screen sm smaller or bigger by using the mouse wheel so hopefully again this is a little bit more information to help you make better use of your router I hope it's been of some use to you